All right, guys, so uh, this is going to be a quick video response to an email that was uh, put out by a gentleman that was uh, on Eli's Day at the Ranges Fish in a Bowl Challenge uh, initial thread back at the beginning of June. Uh, the gentleman was looking for some help as far as, you know, how to get into, you know, doing video work, uh, you know, on, you know, a budget or to just get started with it. So I'm going to share with everybody how I started, uh, which is really, really simple. It's like less than $40 in stuff that you got to go out and buy because you probably have everything else. And uh, I'll show you what how I did it uh, until I started taking a little bit more serious. I mean, when you start buying drones, you're taking a little bit more serious. But uh, I still use this method uh, most of the time uh, when I'm shooting, especially if it's just bench rest shooting. Uh, and it comes in handy for a lot of other things. Uh, and the portion of the video that I'm going to share with you all, it's all going to be shot using two old cell phones and forty dollars from you know worth of equipment that you can buy on Amazon or at Walmart. So anyway, let's get into it. So here's what I started with uh, when I was at my most basic level of you know starting out doing some video work of you know me shooting. Uh, it consisted of two cell phones, an old Samsung that I had, and my current phone at the time. And the key is that both of them have to have. A AV audio jack on them if you're going to use what I was and still sometimes to this day continue to use um, but all you need is two cell phones everybody's got at least one borrow one from someone else if you need and then you're gonna need one of these that you can buy for about 15 16 bucks on Amazon uh, I don't know honestly what the actual technical term is. It's a phone adapter uh, and it simply allows you to take your smartphone and drop it into here, tighten it up, align your camera to where the opening on the attachment that will cinch down on the diopter of either your spotting scope or set of binoculars that you decide to use. Uh, and then you can hit play, you know, record and bam, you're good. It's going to record everything through. You dial in the focus on your optic and then you can also zoom in and out with your phone. Uh, works wonderful. I still use this setup for all of my bench and long range stuff to this day. So, um, and then the other thing that you're going to want to go out and buy is this $14 gadget at, uh, Walmart. Uh, which is going to allow you to take a, another cell phone and simply attach it in this way. And then with the, uh, the cord, plug it into the audio jack. And now you have, instead of using your cell phone's microphone down here or up here or wherever it's at, you have got a much better microphone that has windscreening on it to eliminate a lot of that noise that you can again mount on some form of a tripod or what I did for the longest time, I just propped it up against something, put a couple of ammo box up on it, got it to where it's like, okay, it's looking where I need it to be and that's all you need at that point to video yourself and this is what you're using to video downrange. If you're even thinking about doing this, you've already got a spotting scope, some form of a tripod to mount it to, or a pair of binoculars. That's all you need, guys. Uh, with that basic stuff, you can start getting into this. And uh, I'll roll into another video showing how to mount some of it and what you can do with it from there. But this is the start point. So, All right, so I want to let everybody know that this entire video is being filmed uh, using the two cell phone method that I'm talking about. Uh, here's the second one, and just to prove it, I am going to go ahead and start videoing this and then me transitioning away from that. So uh, down range, uh, down my hallway, about 20 uh, feet away, I have a small target. I have a uh, tripod with my spotting scope on it, and I've got my adapter. So let's go ahead and get the adapter hooked up. Get the camera centered. Not quite right. There we 
go. Centered up. Now I've got that going down range. We're going to mount it to the, uh, make sure the diopter is at its widest open setting. Mount it down here. Tighten it down. And once I have it snug, I am going, you're going to notice that the camera is going to want to do this. So I need to rotate the entire eyepiece up 90 degrees vertical. And then it will come back down and I have a good horizontal aspect. If I need to adjust that, I adjust my tripod mount to get where I am centered on the target. And that's good enough for me. And now what I can do is I can zoom in on the target. If we're shooting some type of a challenge target where I need to see it a lot closer, I can do all that. So hopefully that explains it. Uh, hopefully that's simple enough. It's really, really easy to do. Uh, and again, hopefully more people get out there and start videoing their challenge submissions and uh, just videoing their shooting. Uh, anyway, there it is.